can count on. Brian, you called it. I mean, I walked out of my house today and I was just immediately hit with such strong winds. I mean, it's it's undeniable. It's really strong. What do you got coming up for us real soon? Yeah, so yeah. it is windy and it's, it's going to remain that way for the next several yeah. days, which means fire danger is not just a concern today, but it will remain a concern in the coming days. I have a live look right now from the North Four Bay in Orville. Very windy out there. You see the flag really blowing around the tree, completely flapping in the wind. And just look at the waves on the water. Now you don't see anybody out in the water, and for good reason. It's not going to be so easy on a boat in that kind of wind. A look at the current winds outside right now 26 mile per hour winds in Chico. The rest of the area is sitting right around 20 to 15, but the gusts are near 40 miles per hour for some of you right now, and the humidity is very low. We're talking in the teens for many of you in the valley, so when you have low humidity, it's really critical once it gets below 25%. And when you have that dry air, all you need is a, a quick spark, and boom, it'll catch any vegetation whenever you see humidity that low. Good news is no fires to report. That's great news, actually, but if we do see any fires popping up, we will need to get on top of them quickly because we are seeing strong winds out there for the next several days as this low pressure system will slowly move to the east. But since it's to our east, that is why we're going to be seeing those strong winds. So the winds will continue tomorrow and probably even into Tuesday as well. Red flag warning in the valley and the foothills for today due to the strong winds, low humidity and warm temperatures. It could even be extended beyond this, but for now, it's just going to be through Tuesday. So we're talking high fire danger. A look at the future cast for your wind gusts. We're going to continue to see the windy conditions into tomorrow. Probably not as strong tomorrow, but still gusting up to 35 miles per hour tomorrow. And then by the time we get to Tuesday, we'll still see wind gusts getting into the 20s, but I think we'll be avoiding 30 miles per hour wind gusts for Tuesday. That's good news. Current temperatures right now sitting in the 80s in the valley, but by tonight, only getting into the upper 50s, low 60s. And then tomorrow in the valley, we're getting warmer. Warmer weather also increases fire danger. Even some of you farther south, such as Willows or Yuba City, could hit 90 degrees for tomorrow. So we're going to continue to keep that warm weather in the forecast. Tomorrow is also Sunday, which is supposed to uh, celebrate solar panels if you want one save a lot of money high of 88 degrees for tomorrow that seven day forecast in chico high of 89 for tomorrow 91 for tuesday and then all the way up to 95 on wednesday and then we're back down to 76 on friday but next weekend we warm up back into the 80s in redding we're going to be pretty warm in the forecast all the way up to 95 on wednesday but notice all those little icons windy breezy windy breezy windy breezy it's just like over and over and over i try to avoid putting a bunch of icons like that in my forecast but i really want to show you the picture that fire danger is really going to be the concern in the coming week. Thank you, Brian. And it's, mm -hmm. it seems like we're getting a three-day weekend, right? Sunday today, but a Sunday tomorrow, right? Ye no? What? Okay. Oh. Said oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey, well, thank you, Brian, and we'll be right back.